Okay, the friendly ghost. Somebody sent me a shirt earlier this year in the fall. I've been rocking it. It's the friendly ghost. Yeah. But uh, you got a great, as I like to call it, gimmick, right? You're thinking yeah. about pro Trademarked wrestling, it, right? Yeah. yeah? You yeah. trade? You trademark it? Well, no, I built like a, I built you know like a logo, trademarked. I merchandised myself, promoted myself, so. You're gonna have a Duke education, man. Yes, I, I don't think you got to go into WWE, but is that something you think you're pretty passionate about? Um, you know. I just don't want to live my life with any regrets. So I don't want to sit back when I'm 60 or whatever, 80, and wonder what could have been. So with that being said, you know, I want to pursue uh, competing for a little while longer, leave no regrets there. Maybe pursue the pro wrestling thing, leave no regrets there. I think that's really important to me. Um, and then, you know, when the time comes, maybe use those three degrees I'm getting from Duke. You're going to have three degrees? Yes, sir. What all three? Um, double major in sociology, evolutionary anthropology with a formal concentration in behavior, ecology, and cognition, and a minor in African and African American studies. Hit my pre med requirements. You see, I wish you could see my face. That's a lot. You're smart. You <laughs> can't see it behind that beard. I might not have sent you a shirt it's you a had that beard. It's a pretty bad beard. We all know that. But, you know, hey, looking at that, that quarterfinal, right? You're a two time All American now. Yes, sir. You know, getting there, and, and you've always you've talked a big game. And last year, Right. Kyle said it, man. He talks a big game. Right. I want him to back it up, though. Right. Talk, looking at that, you know, and having the matchup you're going to have tonight. Right. How excited are you for the semifinals tonight? I'm so excited. You know, I said in an interview earlier in the week, I've got a lot of things going against me right now, um, to be completely honest. And I'm, I'm transparent. I always keep it real. I've had a Crohn's flare up for about the last week. I was about 226, waiting this morning about 212. So, you know, you could, you could look at that as, oh, man, that's an excuse. That's an easy way out. I look at it as I'm 14 minutes away from immortality. If I win this weight with the guys that are in it, especially weighing 212 with a Crohn's flare-up, my name will never die. You'll tell your grandkids about me, and Ferd will tell his grandkids about me too. So, <laughs> Talk about a little bit of the action from the quarterfinal match with uh, Mita. You know, he was a big guy. Right, yeah, big guy, long guy. Definitely presents some problems. Um, you know, the coaches have been asking me, you, you know, you want kind of a scouting report, you want this guy's tendencies, and uh, some that resonated with me. Back from maybe my sophomore year, Coach Whistle told me, uh, game plans for people that aren't actually a better wrestler than you. So I told him, no, I don't want to know the tendencies, and I just went out and tried to do what I do. That's a bad matchup for you, let's be honest. He's got like, that dude's got like a size 15 shoe. It, lo it looks like it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and it, no, and I've huge. never seen anybody pick his feet up off the mat. He's hard to wrestle. Yes, sir. He presents a matchup, you know, quandary for everyone. Right, yes, how do you, How are you able to, to, to get where you need to get to, get to your holds, pick them up, you know, do the things you need to do to win them? You know, like I said, lost like 14 pounds in the last three days. At this point, I'm not running on liquids. I'm not running on li uh, food. I'm just running on heart, man. I think when you have as big of a heart as me, you can get anything done. I was thinking before that match, like, if I lose, I hope I die. Because I would, that honestly would hurt me a lot less than having to see my friends and family and everybody here that's supporting me after I don't get this goal. It would hurt a lot, a lot less. How do you deal with what you're going through right now? You just got to be tough, you know. Uh, you, just play, you know, you play the cards you're dealt, and you just kind of man up, saddle up. I think it's kind of a mentality my parents handed down to me, and it's a mentality that's been reinforced by, uh, by the coaches at Duke. We got the best coaches in the nation, man, you know, and I think if you're one of those programs right now that have been perpetually at the bottom of the Big Ten or wherever it may be, you probably fire your coach on Saturday of this year. You call Ben Whistle on Sunday, and you give him that head job. Ben Whistle's an amazing coach, man. You know, you guys can joke that I'm smart or the guys on our team are smart, but it's a, it's a dummy-proof system right now in our room. I go in there, as long as I'm willing to go hard, Coach Whistle's got something for me to work on, it's impossible not to get better. If you do the right things and you live the lifestyle and you practice what they preach, you'll get better and you'll get to the top. I have no doubt of that. I'm not supposed to be here, man. I'm just an outlaw. I just gunsling, you know. I'm a skinny kid from 60 miles down the road. Just made it what happened, I guess, because of heart and being tough and listening to coaches. Give some publicity to the pack. Uh, you and your teammates are promoting that uh, the school actually doesn't give out athletic scholarships, or scholarships to the wrestling team. Right. You know, um, it's frustrating to be matched up against some of these schools. You know, you were looking at potentially stolen eyes, the four and five seed. It didn't work out that way. But you look at all of our budget that comes from Duke Athletics, and it's 5% of what Iowa, Iowa operates on a year. 5%. We what the wrestling team operates on. On what the wrestling team operates on. And we have five guys here on 5% of what their budget is. That's, that's just not right, you know. Um, I'm a man. I knew what I signed up for when I went in. 
I'm not worried about my student loans, you know. All I've ever known how to do is work hard and hustle. I'll get out of student loan debt. I'm not worried about that. But I don't think kids coming into Duke in the future should have to worry about that. Um, I've created a platform with the work that I've put in and um, the kind of model student athlete I've been and um, I wanted to use it. So I approached those guys, the four fine silvers, um, and I told them, look, this is my idea. I want to wear a shirt that says get Duke Wrestling um, scholarships. I'm on my way out. They can't do too much to me. So um, I hope I can leave this place better than what I found it. Again, something that kind of my coaches and parents taught me. And um, I said, you guys don't have to do it. I understand you got to come back and wrestle these next couple years. And props to them, man. Props to Zach, Mitch, especially to Matt and Josh. You've got another three years there to have, you know, the guts to wear that shirt despite having three more years with that admin and that athletic department. So, Are you riding the Cleveland wave? Tariq Wilson's riding the Cleveland wave. Yeah, Kyle, Canal, Kyle Wilson. Canal is riding the t Cleveland wave. You know, are you riding that Lexington, Cleveland, Ohio, Northern Ohio wave right now? Jim? Yeah, you know, kind of like I said, I think some of these external things, you can look at it as one of two ways. Either, man, this adds more pressure. My friends, my family, um, some of the past wrestlers, some of the present Duke wrestlers are here. And, oh, man, that adds a lot of pressure. Or, oh, man, it's going to be sweet when I win. And, I'm, you know, like I said in an interview yesterday, I'm a dreamer. I'm a believer, and I believe that's just, you know, setting up the perfect scenario to really achieve that immortality that I was talking about. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a good match uh, last year. He's tough, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, you get to see what adjustments I made and how much better I got. I can tell you I uh, sat up to about 4 a.m. in the morning. Friday night last year after the semis I wrote myself a note and I locked it in my phone I said you have 363 days to get uh, 13 points better you gotta cover a 13 point spread in 363 days everybody's counting on you to do it so do it I know I'm the thoroughbred horse that this program's uh, riding I know that when I step out on the mat and I don't have a problem with that there's nobody else I would want that falling on their shoulders so um, I guess we're gonna see what those 363 days worth of work did for me what was on your note uh, you know it's, it's really long note it says a lot of things um, says everything that people told me I couldn't be growing up. You know, you, you can't crack the varsity lineup. You can't have a winning record. You can't make it to state. You can't win a state title. You can't wrestle in college. You can't wrestle D1. You can't start. You can't make it to nationals. You can't go to the Olympic trial. You can't All-American. You can't win a national title. I said, you know, you've been doing what they told you you couldn't do all along. Quit listening to them and just do it. They don't know what you have. They don't know what you're willing to give. And they don't know what, what, you know what you're willing to sacrifice for it. So quit worrying about what other people say and just do it because that's what's important. Kyle's right down there giving an interview. What would you say to him right now? What, what, are you, what actions are you going to take to the mat tonight to, to knock him off? Just looking forward to it. I guess we'll find out at 7. Last thing, what would you say to Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, uh, Jerry Briscoe? What would you say to those guys right now if they're recruiting you, which I know they are? You know, you, you can see what I can do on the mic. You can see what I can do with my actions. Put the money on the table. Let's get something figured out. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate